Uh, but you, know, you were involved in the um, 2008 campaign, is that correct? Yes. What did you do? I made a documentary about it. What was the documentary? We Will Not Be Silenced. And what was it about? The voter fraud in the Democratic primary. Specifically, who's fraud? The Obama campaign, the DNC, against Hillary Clinton. I had never voted in my life. I wasn't a Democrat. I wasn't a Republican. I wasn't anything. I didn't know anything about any of this. The minute we said we were making this film about voter fraud, the floodgates opened. I mean, everybody had a story to tell about death threats, threats, intimidation, document falsifying, uh, vandalism, property theft. It, it just... It was the most horrible thing I've ever heard in my life. The point was to keep people from voting for Hillary and to have Obama be the nominee. And who was engaged in this behavior? Well, we look back on it now and think it was probably ACORN, but uh, it, because it was so organized. I mean, there was no way that people in Indiana were doing the same thing that they did in Texas if it wasn't an organized, orchestrated effort that had been planned for a long time. It was like a Swiss watch. It was so precise. When you're going public like this, it's certainly not going to help your career in Hollywood, and you know that. What can you do? It's my country. My dad fought for this country. He was 82nd Airborne in World War II and got shot down twice and had two Purple Hearts. And I think of, he's passed away. I think of, would he rather have me sitting in the corner cowering and, and afraid of people? Or would he rather have me tell the truth and what I saw? And I think he'd rather have me tell the truth. When did the first issues of um, Obama's eligibility come up? Oh, immediately. I, you know, it, we were getting hit with so many things about Obama. I mean, this is when, you know, Ayers and Khalidi and all of it, and then all of a sudden, oh, he's not eligible to be president. The Clintons started it. It started, and, I, and everybody who has called this a, a conspiracy from the Republicans or the Tea Party, they need to know who started it, the Democrats. It was Hillary and Bill, and it percolated up from there. Bill Clinton would make references to it. He would, you know, he would say it. He would go on camera and, and jokingly make comments about, you know, is Obama qualified to be president? Well, if he's 35 and a wink, wink, US, United States citizen, I guess he's qualified. So just to be clear, you're saying that the Clintons may know they we're not hiding that their concerns that Obama no. was not eligible. Is that correct? Correct. Did the Clintons stop attacking Obama on eligibility? In the world that we were in with her superdelegates and delegates, it, it just was, he's not legit. That's the end of it, period, end of story. It wasn't up for discussion. We were always told that Bill was going to tell the truth. You know, just wait, just wait, Bill, Bill's going to tell everybody, Bill's going to tell the truth. And I didn't really know why somebody would know that and not tell the truth. It's just so un-American to me. I mean, that's why four years later, I'm actually shocked that anybody thinks he is legit. And that, that's the shocker. Not that there's birthers running around. It's like, what are you people thinking that this goes on? This is a man who does not think he has to document himself the way I would to get a job at Walmart. That it's... It's affrontive and it's racist to ask for a birth certificate from this, the most powerful person in the world to satisfy a constitutional requirement. People that we have in our film have been threatened. We had to block out a lot of faces uh, of people who would not go on camera. They were terrified, they'd been threatened, they threatened to be killed, their jobs. Uh, you know, there were Democrats who were threatened to get out of the party, all that kind of stuff. Bill Gwatney was killed. Who was he? Chairman of the Arkansas Democratic Party and a, and a Hillary superdelegate. And what relationship did he have to Bill and Hillary? From what I heard, Bill's best friend. And what happened to him? He was sitting in his office and someone came in and shot him, killed him, ran out, and then the perp got killed and there was no motive. The person was killed, there was never a motive, and I was told that that was shut up, Bill. 
or your next. Shut up about what? Obama's birth certificate. And were there any further threats that you've heard made against the Clintons? Well, then this woman told me that Bill, you know, who probably doesn't take threats too lightly um, or too seriously, uh, was going to do it anyway. And then they went in and said, it, okay, it's your daughter now that we'll go after. And then Bill never said anything. And the threat was in relationship to if the Clintons continued discussing Obama's eligibility and birth certificate? Yes. You know, it's not about Hillary. It's about, number one, I'm American. I live in a country where there's a constitution and a set of laws. I also have somebody in the White House who has lied, obfuscated, provided for what we all know to be forged documents about who he is. I'm not comfortable. I don't like living this way. I've lived this way for four years. I've lived with the media covering it up. This is my country. And on top of it all, I don't think he has the best intent for this country. And the only thing that I want as an American is the truth. I can't believe that I'm called a, a nut and a fruitcake and a birther and everything else because I pay his salary. I want to know who he is and I want him to document himself and when they have these lawsuits I want him to show up and, and, and not thumb his nose at the American people like we don't matter. You know, he can do whatever he wants and get away with this and the media covers for him.